professional orchestra only would have like three or four, but the people would be practicing the music two or three weeks before, and they also would have played it about ten times. Uh, and they'll come, professionals come with their part learned completely. We have people in the orchestra that are dentists and lawyers and doctors, and they don't have time to do that, so we kind of learn it. But um, I think if we put all our energy together, we could do a decent performance, have a decent performance. So It's hard to sometimes draw the line. If in a professional setting, you can say, why isn't this perfect? And expect perfection because those people are getting paid to play it perfectly. In an amateur setting, um, they're not getting paid and you are, your job is to get the most that you can out of them. So it's a hard, it's a very fine line where to criticize and uh, prompt and uh, encourage and discipline and things so I try I'd never tr I'd never try to embarrass anybody in front of the whole group uh, if I have complaints with the performance or someone playing in the orchestra I, I usually see them individually and if I think they can I can get more out of them then I see them individually very seldomly do I do it in front of the whole group Uh, in this setting with the amateurs because they're all here because they love the music and they're not getting paid so uh, what I my philosophy is I try to get the most out of them that I can and if it's not perfect then it's not perfect I think what I'm always surprised at is because I play in a professional orchestra and around professionals that everybody shows up every week and they're not getting paid. It always amazes me because if I, any orchestra that, if I asked an orchestra to come in that was full of professionals, you probably wouldn't get anybody to come, or maybe two or three. Uh, not because they don't love music, but because, you know, they do it professionally. And I, every week we have a group of 70 people that are just appear right at 10 o'clock and are happy to play the music. had sometimes four first violins and three cellos and a, barely a woodwind section uh, and the nice thing now is the quality people who are very very interested in music stick around uh, very few leave and uh, we've kind of built each section to where um, people want to be in the orchestra and it's I think it's reached a critical mass where we have enough people that everybody feeds off one another and it, and it promotes, promotes excellence.